Hi everyone, I'm Chanel from Stamping Stilettos and I'm here to show you oh, a new thing that I'm doing at the moment. Well, it's it's something new to me um, and you know most of you will probably understand the craft bug that we all have and we could be doing a project and having a look for some inspiration on Pinterest or YouTube and be sidetracked and come across something else and that is exactly what happened to me um i was minding my own business just going through pinterest looking at photos of cards i believe and i came across painted rocks now i have sort of dabbled in painting rocks um many years ago but um i don't know i think sometimes it's just not the right time for whatever it is that you're doing um but um just recently i thought you know what i have some pebbles um let me see if i can do something great with them so these are just some of the pebbles that i have um, painted or decorated and i am going to be showing you doing a tutorial today um with something a bit similar to this one and they are super super easy really not as complicated as one might think they are really super fast so let me give you a quick um just show you a few of these that i have done now you know one of my gorgeous girls just love her and um you know this was actually she was stamped onto tissue paper and then i colored her in um with um spectrum noir markers now actually they're they're waterproof you know they they're they're not um waterproof should i say so it does run so you've got to be very very careful to use paints and pens that don't actually mix with the water or the varnish or whatever it is you use but i managed to save her by cutting her out um that is just one that i've done i think it was the first one that i did um which i didn't think was too bad actually so there she is um, this one I think is quite cute um, with the little Russian dolls again super fast to do then this one <laughs> this is wow you know I had a moment I thought I'd experiment with spray paints and there's a little bit of a, a mess but actually I quite like it it's like just lots of different spray paints just to make this sort of explosion of colours there and then we have, of course, a little Puscat. We have to have little pebbles with Puscats on, don't we? And this again was stamped onto white tissue paper and then cut out and then just varnished on. But I'll show you that technique today. So that's the little cat. Um, this was just cut out of some um, DSP that I had. And I just then um, mod podged the pebble and stuck it on and then varnished it a little birdie i was going to try and make this into an egg so i need to find out how to um speckle this to make it look like an egg and we have ariel and then this one was just little um punched flowers and then just some sparkle on it and this one i just hand painted with flowers and this one I actually really, really like. I think it's come out very beautiful. There you go. So we're going to make one very similar to this. So um, what do you need um, to be able to do this project? Well, you know, like I said, it is super easy. So you need a pebble. And this is just from um, a bag of pebbles that I actually picked up from our scrap store. But you can get these in craft shops, in garden centres, at the beach, wherever you want to get them. So first of all, you need a pebble and then we need to paint it. Now, I have found, that especially with these, these grey ones, they do take a few coats of paint. So um, I just have some of these test, uh, a tester pot. And this again is from my scrap store, which I just love. So, um, you know, I had all these tester pots and I thought, oh, I have not used them. So... All we're going to do is just taking a brush and this tester pot here. This is called Ice Ice Number 3. 
and it's just a lovely pale um, blue, really pale blue. So we're just going to go and paint this pebble. Now you can leave it to dry naturally and come back and coat it again. Um, I am way too impatient for that. So um, actually I don't think this one's going to be too bad as far as how many coats we need. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my heat gun out and I am going to dry it and then give it another coat and then I shall be back. Okay, I'll be straight back. Okay, so I have painted um, my pebble. Actually, it didn't take that long. I only took like two coats and um, dried really, really fast. So once you've painted your pebble, decide, you know, which side you're going to use um, for your main, um, which side up you're going to have it. Now, what I'm using for this project, and this is how super easy this is, this is just a napkin from Sainsbury's. And I saw it and I thought, oh my gosh, it's very pretty. Um, so this is the napkin that I'm going to be using. Now, what I'm going to be doing now on these napkins, um, you have this bumpy part of the napkin, but I don't use that bit. I only use the center smooth bit. So what I'm going to do just to make life a bit easier, I'm just going to come in here and cut out. A section just so that I've got so I'm going to cut out this section here and then I think I like this gray leaf um, leaves here so I'm going to get as close to the leaf as I can you don't because it's we've painted it blue you don't want too much of the white from the napkin it doesn't matter if you've got a little bit um because you can actually go up to it and paint it over it if you want to so what i'm going to do oops come on is just cut out these gray leaves now you're going to find that the napkins are either twofold or threefold so you need to take that top layer off this is actually a threefold napkin so take off the two back pieces now what we do is just put this on here for the minute we're not going to stick it down until we've decided on the rest of the um the rest of the design so i've got a lovely beautiful blue flower here I'm going to cut this out. Oops. And same again, we're just going to go as close as we can to this image. Might be able to cut a little bit more off there. And again, you're going to have to this is the bit that I find tricky is sometimes you just can't get out oh, there it is. There's one layer off. I find I can't always get that. Oh, done it. Found it. Come on. There it is. Oops. So then we have a flower and we have a leaf so far and let's get rid of this rubbish and decide on I quite like this yellow or oh, that's in the bumpy bit isn't it hmm. I quite like this Sort of sprig of leaves 
in grey again. Let's have a look and see. Now sometimes you see something and then you cut it out and you think, oh, actually, I don't like that. I'm going to move it around a bit. So let's have a look. Oh, come on. Got ya. Right, let's... Hmm, I don't know what to do with that sprig. Uh, sure about that sprig kind of like that by itself so what I might do is let's cut this out as well You see what I mean? You don't always know until you've cut it out what you're going to do. Let me cut that out. I'm also going to cut this yellow flower out as well. Oh, come on. Right, let's... Oh, I'm going to have to turn around. I was sitting to the side. I think I'm going to have to turn to the front. Okay, let's... Oops. Just get rid of some of this. White. Okay, let's see if we can... There's that. So at the moment we have a yellow flower... A grey leaf and a blue flower. So let's have a look and see if this one looks any good. Oops. Come on. You know what I'm going to do? I'm actually going to take my Mod, mod, mod Podge and just put some on the rock. And let's... Because I really don't know at the moment what I'm going to do. So let's put that on there. And what you want to do is go from the middle of the image outwards and be very gentle because remember it's just tissue paper but we can put that there and let's put that flower there and then I think what we're going to do is put this one down there And then put this gorgeous little blue flower, if I can get it. And put that just there. And then what I'm going to do, I don't think I'm going to put anything else on there. And then all that's left to do, now I've already got some here that are stamped. I've just stamped hello on some white tissue paper and um, we're just going to cut that out again going up as close to the image as you can
and then I think we're going to have it just here. So we're going to pop that there and again go from the middle outwards and then we just need to leave that to dry and then what I do afterwards is to um, get some, I have some spray, some clear gloss spray and just give it a spray so that it's nice and glossy and also if you're going to have them outside um, you know it protects them so let me just put this aside and show you how easy that was to decorate a rock now I think that's come up a little bit so we just need a little bit more Mod Podge on the end there that's it so that is your rock um obviously it's still got to be glossed you can have i've got spray uh, spray um gloss or i do have um mud podge gloss so actually what i think i'll do is let's put some mud podge gloss on it now i'm not sure if this is um you know waterproof not waterproof but you know if it's okay you know if you want to leave these outside i'm not sure with mud podge um i know the one i've got in a spray um is actually weatherproof should i say so we're just going to give this a coat and then when it's dried um properly thoroughly dried we can then do oh that smells funky we can then um do the underneath as well So there you have it, a gorgeously decorated rock and super, super fast. I mean, I have been and bought napkins in all different um, shapes, sizes, patterns. Um, this one's got birds on. Um, that's the this one I used. That one's done with that one. And then the other flowers from the other one there. Is from this napkin how cool is that and I tell you something now it is so easy um, the aerial is also from a napkin Ta -da! look how cool that is um, so really really easy I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial it's something different for you um, and happy crafting see you very soon take care bye bye